In the past few videos, we have seen the kinds of decimal expansions. So, in this video, let us convert these decimals, uh, sorry, these fractions into decimals and find out uh, what kind of decimal expansions they are. So, converting fractions into decimals, just to find out the kinds of decimal expansions. So, let us do uh, first 1 by 11. So, how do we go about just the normal uh, long division process? 1 is divided by 11. Uh, since 1 is much smaller, you uh, put a decimal place and add a 0, but still 10 is uh, smaller than 11. So, 1 more 0 to the right of 1. So, yes, now 11 nines, 99. So, once again you have 1 as a remainder and actually the same process is going to continue. Let us do just 1 for our satisfaction. So, adding a 0 and 1 more 0 also, isn't it? So, uh, once again 9 is 100 and this is going to continue. The same thing is going to continue. So, 1 by 11 is equal to 0 0.0909 or it can be represented as 09 bar to show that this is a repeating decimal. This is a non-terminating recurring decimal. It's a non-terminating recurring decimal, right? So, next let us try 2 by 11. 2 by 11, there are two ways of doing it now since we have done 1 by 11. Uh, one way is to do division again just like how we did for the previous one, uh, you can do 2 by 11 or whatever the result is obtained for 1 by 11, you can just multiply by 2 because 2 by 11 is equal to 2 into 1 by 11. So, you can just say it is 2 into 0 0.0909 or you would get 0 0.181818 or this can be represented as 0 0.18 bar to show that this is also a non-terminating recurring decimal. Now, let us try a mixed number. Uh, let it be 8 and, uh, sorry, 4 and 1 by 8. Uh, so, converting it into an improper fraction, you get 8 force 32, 32 plus 1, 33 by 8. So, dividing 33, 33 by 8. Uh, for once we have a bigger number to be divided by 8. So, 8 fours 32 and now you just get 1 as a reminder. So, you will have to place a decimal point and add a 0 here to the right of 1. So, you get 8 ones are 8, 2 is the remainder, 0, 8 twos 16, 4 is your remainder, so, adding a 0 because you have already placed the decimal, 8 5s are 40 and your division stops here because the remainder is 0. So, ultimately what do we get? We get that 4 and 1 by 8 is equal to 4.125. This is a terminating decimal. It does not recur, it terminates. So, it is a terminating decimal. So, let us do just one more example. Uh, let it be 3 by 13. The fourth uh, example converting fractions into decimals. Let us do 3 by 13. Yeah. Uh, so, 3 is going to be divided by 13. So, 3 is smaller than 13. So, right away you place the decimal point and add a 0. 13 2 is 26. The remainder is 4 a 0. 13 3s 39. This time the reminder is 1, so a 0, but you still 10 is smaller than 13, so 13 zeros are 0. So you can now add one more 0, so you have an 100. So let us try 13 5s, we know that it is 65. So let us just try 13 and 7. 7 3s 21, 1 2 seven. Yeah, 91, it clicked. Uh, so, 13 7 times is 91. We get 9 as a reminder. Now, again 0. But since 13 7 is 91, this has to fit into 13 multiplied by 6. 6 3 is 18, 1 6 1 6, 78. So, you get 6 
78. The remainder is now 10 minus 8, 2, 8 minus 112. My God, I think this is going to go on. So, 120. Uh, 120, 13 into 10 is, we know that it is 130. So, let's try what is 13 multiplied by 9. Get 9, 3 is 27, 2. It's 9, 117. 117. Oh, alas, I think... Uh, this is going to terminate, I mean, uh, stop here, repeat, start repeating here. Of course, it is not going to terminate because the remainder is 3, which is the same as where you began from. You started dividing 3 by 13, isn't it? It was 3 by 13. So, this process is going to repeat again and again. So, we can conclude that 3 by 13 would be equal to, uh, let me write it, 0 0.230769230769 and again it's going to continue forever or in short we can say 3 by 13 when divided gives us 0 0.230769 bar so this is a non-terminating non-terminating decimal but at the same time it's repeating so you call it a recurring. So this is a non-terminating recurring decimals. So we have shown you uh, quite enough examples of how to go about dividing and find the decimal equivalent of rational numbers. I hope you followed. Thank you.